we're going to start by what we call proportionally balancing the system. So we'll go to each of our coils. We'll go to the balancing valves. We'll set those valves so they're all equal. So we'll go across from one to two, starting from the index coil, working our way into the system, and set all of our coils so they're all equal flow. Not necessarily at design flow at this point, but all equal. So at that point, we can use a partner valve to balance the system further and get ourselves down to what we'll call our 2GPM design flow for each of these coils. You'll notice that as we make changes within this part of the system, as I close this valve down, these valves start to open, open further, or this, the flow starts to go up into the other two coils, and I'm winding up overflowing those two coils because I shut it down. So right now, we'll take it back again. As I shut, start to shut off control, as things start to modulate elsewhere in the system, it again throws off this part of the system again. Everything's interconnected. Everything is interactive. What if there's a better way of controlling differential pressure at multiple points within a system as opposed to one? Can't do it with a pump because that pump can only drive to one point. It can only provide that, that level of control at one point, but let's look at controlling differential pressure a different way. So if you look at our system here, we have what we call a differential pressure control valve up on the return side of this, of this branch with these three coils. And then we, have, we still have our partner valve on the inlet side. Now, connecting those two valves, though, we have what we call different, or a a capillary tube. So it's basically it's a, it's a pressure sensing tube going from the supply to the return side. Now, it's not providing flow from one side to the other. It's only providing a pressure signal from that one point to the next. So this valve's already set up. I'm going to reopen my partner valve to get us back up to our proportionally balanced state. Everything's back up to the flow rates I started. And we'll activate this valve. And the valve is set up to bring us back to our design flow condition, so our 2 GPM per coil. Now, what I've done is I've isolated or severed that part of the system from the rest of the system in terms of control. So I'm activating the differential pressure controller. So now that valve is controlling the differential pressure between my supply side and my return side. And in doing so, I've imparted better control to that part of the system. So now instead of relying on one pressure transducer that's usually two thirds of the way out in the system, I'm providing localized control for differential pressure across this section of the, of the system. So now, as I start to change things throughout the rest of the system, you'll notice these valves will modulate slightly as the differential pressure control valve adjusts itself, but I've returned to my design point. Now, in terms of interactivity, I can start to isolate parts of the system and still maintain good control in that, that, that area of the system.